Great West. So my name's Gehan Patharaja, I'm the lead car handling designer in the racing studio at Codemasters. Okay, so here we are at Hockenheim and we're about to try out the uh, British touring car on this train, which is, generally speaking, they are front engine, front wheel drive cars, except for like the BMW. Uh, and they're about two litres, tend to have high grip, roll cage, it's a bit of argy-bargy on track and hopefully you'll get to see some of that today. Let's get started. Here we are typically starting out the back of the track and then move from Chase View to Bonnet Camp. And we're in the Ford Focus. So this, this one is front engine, front wheel drive. And we'll just line this guy up and overtake him as well. So you can see there, there's not as much um, slipstream effect as you would get on the Formula 3 or an open wheeler. However, there is some to be had. There's a hairpin, so I'm going to break a little bit. Ooh, that was a bit early. Uh, take the apex bit. You can see the AI having a bit of a tussle between those two as well, debris going everywhere. Some people take a bit more of a shortcut, bit liberties with the corners. And as a result, I benefit because I'm overtaking him as well. Cutting on the left. Oh, that's my teammate, what are you doing? So, I um, guess he didn't see me. And that's another thing, your visibility is probably slightly better in open wheeler than it is in, in touring car. And I think you can see that in AI as well. They, uh, they tend to have a bit more awareness of what's going on in open wheel than they do in touring car and get, you can, they can they behave as such as well so you can see this the track feels far more packed than when on open wheeler there's a lot more going on at the same time break late go around successful inside Just muscle my way in he doesn't mind and the cars the collisions are, are very one-to-one -one. you can see there the, you know the friction is just about right it feels right it looks just what, what you'd see on touring car as well you can use the curbs to hop over and get the car around the corner Ooh, you can't really do that I might flashback as a result so here we use the flashback to recover from that situation back up a little bit more and get back on track here we go this time I'll take it wide that's a good thing about fat flashback as well. It's very quick to get back into the race, provided that you respond quickly. Um, and it's a very useful feature. It looks seamless as well. So yes, here we go. We line this guy up. Off we go. Do a drive. Just in time for the apex. Oh, I might get corner cutting. No, we're okay. But you can see the weight of the, the way the hat cars handle now. The, you know, the, there's weight to the vehicles. Um, you know, they really respond as you would expect. Um, and that's down to the tuning that we've done with, with racing drivers such as uh, Matt Neal or, or Jack Clark from British Touring Car. Even, even Andy Jordan, you know, the last British Touring Car champion, he popped in to, to give us a bit of feedback on the cars. And that's really nice. We sit them down and we play the game with them for hours and they just like give us feedback on what they think is good and what they think is not good. And they even like look into the AI like you just saw there. That guy obviously took a little bit of a swipe at me and put me off for the entry in that corner. But that's okay. I mean, that's, that's what would happen, you know. You know, that's, that's all designed in. Yeah, the two-litre touring car classes 
a lot of fun and uh, it's just quite simple as a result. It's just so easy to just chuck the cars around and, and just battle your way to the front. It's a different sort of driving. Uh, and you don't have to drive that way. You can drive clean and the other drivers will respond to your behavior as well. It's a good thing about the AI in Grid Autosport. Oh, there you go, bit of a battle going on. I'll just take him on the inside if I can. Make capitalize and help him out. And there we go, we're up against the Raven West. Can I take him? That's the question. Break a little bit later. Oh, he's running wide. I think no, we got away with it. So again, here's your dash, dash cam view in a touring car. You can hear more transmission whine in this view as well. I mean, it's typical of what you'd experience of being inside the car. You know, you get more of that transmission whine coming through. Uh, and it's a great view to use with steering wheels, as I've said before. Going into head cam here, we get, you can see out of the cockpit quite nicely. The view's good. You feel like you're seated in the seat. And you'll see as I'm under braking, the head lurches forward. And that's all, all physics, all down to the G-force. couple of undulations you can even like pick up road noise and debris or feel of the road through the head movement actually oh a bit of a shunt it must be that guy yeah, I think it was so right it's a nice tight line don't have quite the top end There's a, a little introduction into grid autosport touring uh, category. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>